Hi, I'm, I'm Dr. Nate Bridges, a biomedical engineer with the 7-Eleven Human Performance Wing. And a lot of my research has been in cognitive neuroscience. And what I do at the Air Force Research Lab is serve as a program lead. So I basically direct technical and programmatic lead the efforts of team members across the U.S. as well as different directorates here at the lab. And our, a lot of our goal is centered on how do we improve performance, particularly how do we personalize learning, you know, and, and enable technology so that they can adapt to the individual so that that individual can reach their greatest potential. So reading from the brain might fall under what you would call a brain computer interface or BCI, and that's about reading brain signals that you can then pass through algorithms, you know, so that might be your machine learning or to interpret the meaning of those signals, and then you can do something useful with it. So if I can read your brain signals, like say if I know your level of attention, can I tar start to take technology, and I like to say empower technology, so that it can change, because now it knows something about you and how it might change to make you the better version of yourself. I I've gone through multiple stages here at the A4L. I started off as a student while I was in college. I didn't know anything about, you know, how, like science and research. So there's a lot of opportunity. You know, like I've gone from, you know, I, I come out of graduate school. I was basically like a postdoc. Within a year, I was like a principal investigator. Within like another year or so, um, I built a team and now I'm a team lead in another you know, a year or so I'm leading a line of effort, another year or so I'm leading a program with over 45 people literally across the United States. I don't think I would be able to do that or have the same opportunities that I um, had here to develop and grow as a leader uh, as I would outside of the Air Force. I think it's a much longer path. The bottom line is you get to do things here that you can't do other places and you can't put um, I mean, money on that. I know the cliche would be a price tag on that. Contact. The science part of me really enjoys playing with cool things. And the science part of me really enjoys asking the what if question or just trying to understand how does this thing work? How does the brain work? When you tie it to the AFRL, realizing that the work you're doing could actually save lives. Like it's, it's like a hybrid of like I'm playing, I get to play but it's real, like I'm working on something that is gonna actually do something for someone someday. And so that's really exciting. Like it makes me, you know, that's the hope, that's the dream, like that me and my colleagues, we can come up with something that actually, so someone can actually use it and actually make them better. You need some, someone who can serve the people who serve. And I think, you know, that falls into that. Like, so if one day someone is using something I had a part of, that's the dream, like that's awesome. Like that, that I had a hand in making someone's life better. I had a hand in improving our defense. So yeah, it's awesome.